All right, hey guys, it's time for part three, our third BIC qualifier uh, for Monday, October 26th. In our first two qualifiers, we have currently a 58 and a 56. So we're a little bit ahead of the pace right now. Uh, we need to play 10 of these and average at least 55% to qualify for this weekend. Okay, so this is going to be number three. We're gonna to go to pending, we're gonna find BIC qualifiers three, and we're gonna do a little video here for you where we talk about the hands. We have 14 balanced with five hearts, semi-balanced, five hearts and four diamonds. We're gonna overcall two hearts here. Three hearts by partner, one, two and a half, four, five and a half, they open a spade up. Could I have less than this? I don't know, 14. He didn't bid two spades, so I think I'm just gonna pass this. Okay, winners, four trumps. Ace of diamonds is five. Ace, king, queen of clubs is eight. And if we could guess uh, to successfully finesse the eight or the 10, that would be nine tricks. We could rough a diamond in the dummy for 10. And we can probably get rid of a spade loser on clubs. Is it more likely he's led from the nine or from the jack? If he's led from the nine, we should play the eight. If he's led from the jack, we should play the 10. There are eight points in the dummy. There are 14 in our hand, which means that righty has a max of 14 and lefty has a minimum of four. Okay. I think we're just gonna try the eight here. Not right. We can pitch diamond loser on the play the spade to the 10. That probably wouldn't work. We don't want to play Trump yet. I can't imagine he did this. Well, let's play clubs and pitch some spades. That's too bad. So the 10 would have worked at trick one. Rather than over rough this, let's just pitch one of our losers. It's interesting, the king of diamonds followed by the 10. Okay, we're still missing queen nine fourth of diamonds. And we're gonna draw some trump, they have four. Alrighty, had the ace. And that ace. Plays the four of diamonds. The, so he's probably just getting a rough here in the third round. Actually, West still has the nine left, right? Okay. And we'll maintain the beer card. Probably don't technically get to claim the beer when we're down one. And in life, you would, real life, you would say pulling the trump. Okay. Against the botch, you don't have to do that. We have 12 balanced, so it should be a boring hand. Hopefully we'll get a plus score out of it. Uh, partner bids a heart, we can rebid one no. And we play the hand and the trick count. We have one club on the opening lead. We have one diamond. We have two spades. We have a bunch of suits that we would prefer the opponents attack for us rather than the other way around. On deals like this where you only have five spades and the bidding has died in one no trump, right? We have, um, we have 19 of the 40 high card points almost a guarantee that the spades are 4-4 with the opponents because if they've got 21 of 40 points and they have let the bidding die at the one level, probably not going to happen if one of them had a five card major suit, right? So you pretty much take that tip to the Mac. Let's play the eight here and figure out what suit we are attacking next. Probably just play clubs again. Plays the spade. Now, if he led away from the queen, he's given us a third spade trick. I tend to give the bot more credit than that, but we'll see if it's deserved. And we're just gonna go, we're gonna play clubs. Okay, so the clubs were three, three, and the spades were presuming are four, four. Might as well play the nine here. Okay, yeah, the bot did not lead away from a spade on her, as I expected. 
the Ten of Clubs is good in the dummy. There's no obvious way to get it. The King of Hearts will be an entry if West has the Ace of Hearts. Uh, so far, we have seen the points be uh, West had the Jack of Clubs. East had the Ace Queen. That's 16. And West had the Queen Jack of Spades for 46. And I guess we'll just pitch a diamond off the dummy. Each opponent should have six red cards and a spade left. It seems like kind of the obvious thing to do here. What if we finessed for the 10? Would that be right? Yeah, let's run the eight. Let's do that. So that loses to the queen, which now means that the opponent's points are 48 so far. We fully expect this to go spade, spade. Oh wow, East had five spades, so yeah. So much for what I said earlier about the spade, the inference that the spades probably are four, four. Um, we can pitch a diamond from the dummy, that's fine. So West had three spades and three clubs and he just pitched a heart, which probably meant he didn't have four hearts originally, which meant he either had five or two and it wasn't the 10 of hearts, right? So, and we know he's got the 10 of hearts because East won the queen when we ran the nine or ran the eight. So it looks at this point like West started with three spades, three clubs, five hearts and two diamonds. And I guess didn't lead a heart because uh, dummy had bid them. So West should be down to ace, 10, X of hearts and two diamonds. And now just the ace of hearts and two diamonds. Ace X of hearts and two diamonds. And we'll go ahead and play this. And try to end play somebody with the jack of diamonds. And that just doesn't work. And we took the ace king of spades, the king of clubs, and the ace of diamonds, the four tricks that we uh, we thought we started with. We could have a heart to the king for a fifth trick. So that's not great. Here's 14 with 5-5 five, five shape. We open the higher ranking of two five-card suits. Partner bids a no trump, which is probably forcing in bot standard. Yep. And he comes back with two no. And what happens if I did three diamonds here? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Let him know that we have a legitimate diamond suit rather than we just kind of needed a place holding bid over one no trump forcing. Okay, so we're playing three diamonds. We have two spades, we have three hearts, we have the ace of clubs for six. The diamonds were to behave like say the jack is in the pocket and they break three two, that would give us four diamond tricks for 10. Our losers are in the trump suit. We need to rough hearts potentially with dummies trump. And we wanna play a diamond to the 10 at some point. We played it to the 10 and they lost to the jack and it went ace and a trump. Okay, so I'm not sure that I wanna play trump yet because I might wanna rough a heart, which means that I should probably go about doing that right now. And we are actually gonna win it in the dummy to save ourselves the ace of spades entry. Is it time to lead a diamond to the 10? I think it is. That was all a waste of time. They have ace nine X left. And he's going to play a bunch of rounds of trumps. And that probably means he has a heart trick left. Draw the last trump. And he probably gets the 10 of hearts. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, we can claim and this is a beer. We play our two hearts first and then the seven of diamonds last. Uh, for you beer sticklers, 
technically you aren't owed a beer when it's in the Trump suit, but I like allowing for more beer claimage. All right, we have 18 balanced, which means we're going to open a diamond and we're either going to rebid four hearts if partner bids a heart or two no trump if partner had bid one spade. Partner bids Blackwood. We have one, two, three key cards. And I think we say that by bidding five clubs and bot standard. Yep. Partner bids five no, which means we have all the key cards and the queen of hearts because he could have bid five diamonds if he was concerned about the queen of hearts. So either he's looking at it or he doesn't care about it, which would mean he has long hearts. Um, so five no says we've got all the key cards. If you can count to 13, you can feel free to bid seven hearts. I can't count to 13. Um, the next best thing you can do is bid a side king and we have the club king. And if you scroll over six clubs, it says king of clubs, go ahead and bid that. He says six hearts and I don't feel like we had anything interesting extra here. All right. The Trump suit is interesting. We're missing Jack fourth, which means that in isolation, we can guarantee to take all the tricks in the heart suit by starting with one of the high honors from the side that has two high honors. Okay, so if, think about if we cash the king first and east had Jack fourth, we would lose a Trump trick. But if we cash the ace first, we can cater to either opponent having Jack fourth and pick up the Trump suit for no losers. So we have five hearts and the ace king of clubs is seven. And the ace-king of spades is nine, and the ace of diamonds is 10. And we could double hook the diamonds to try and pick up extra tricks there. I think to me that looks like the best plan. Da, 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 da. Yep. I can alternatively do that. That is definitely the best plan. We can go ahead and draw Trump because we don't need dummies Trump for anything. Um, North's clubs will be going on the king of spades and what we hope to establish in diamonds so if we can catch east with at least one of the diamond honors we will be able to score three diamond tricks we have the jack 10 9 8 ace king of clubs is five ace king of spades is seven and five trumps is 12. so that's our plan play east for one or both of the high honor high diamond honors don't have a ton of entries to hand so we're going to go ahead and use the board's king of clubs here and like we talked about earlier, we're going to play a high trump from the side that's got two big trumps. Didn't matter here. Uh, you would hate to lose your slam being sloppy in the trump suit, though. And the opponents have one left. We're going to be careful with our entries here. Later on, we could lead the seven to the nine if we needed to. Uh, we will play the two to the jack. That loses, and now we're going to hope that East has the King of Diamonds left. Okay, so we can play the Seven of Hearts to the Nine. Know that, that we unblocked the Ten of Hearts earlier, so now we can still come back to our hand to lead a Diamond. And that works, we can claim. Seven, eight, nine, 13 balanced. We open a diamond. Heart partner makes the negative double, which should show exactly four spades. If we scroll over it. Yep, four spades. Five to 11 points, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we don't have a spade fit, so we can't really bid two spades here. I don't think doubles will support double in this situation. It's not. So we just pass with our balanced hand. Um, and now they bid two clubs, just natural. Two diamonds is apparently natural. We still have nothing to say. He now bids two hearts, which is fine. And we're just defending this. We're not sure that they have an eight card fit. We definitely don't have an eight card fit at the two level. So these are not the types of auctions that you have to get busy balancing on. Okay, and, and it looks like they do have a misfit here. Um, so we know for sure that partner had four spades, which gives declare two. And we know that declares minimum heart club shape is five hearts and four clubs. Right, and partner has led the four of diamonds. Let's see, is there an entry to dummy? There is with the king of clubs. Could part or could declare have a spade? Guess he can't. We have 12, we have 13, excuse me. Dummy has nine, which means that partner has at least five. Didn't lead a spade, which means that West probably has the king or the queen. OK, 
guess maybe we should go ahead and just play a second diamond back immediately and kill that entry. Played a second diamond back. Did that. Okay. Winning the ace is definitely right. The missing diamond spots are the five and the two. I don't think the partner would have led the four from five, four, two, but I could be wrong. Set the diamonds away as the ace of clubs there. All right, I've changed my mind. I think we're just going to play spades instead. As predicted, Declare had one of the high spades. We're going to win this with the 10. We still have the diamond stopped, so I don't see any reason to get active. Now, definitely play a diamond while partner still has a trump. Right? Right. And now we know the complete count on the hand. It was uh, five hearts, four clubs, two diamonds, two spades with the Claire. So he's got two clubs and a trump left. Partner gets a big trump and declares hand is good. Or declared didn't have the queen of clubs, so we got next. Okay, cool. 18, 4441. We open a diamond. We had a hand like this in session two. Partner bids a no trump. And if we bid two no trump here, it would show. 17 or 18 points, huh? Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna go with. Partner passes, I feel pretty comfortable that we're high enough. All right, partner goes ahead and drives it in. Partner has seven, we have 18, so we can't figure out a whole lot about the opponent's high card points on a deal like this. We just need to count our tricks. Now, if East has one or both diamond honors, we're gonna to come to three diamond tricks. We have the ace of clubs. Uh, we have either three or four spades, depending on where the queen is. And we have uh, one obvious heart and maybe some more. So I think the first order of business is use dummies entry to take a diamond hook. And then hopefully later we'll build up an en another entry in diamonds that we can use to take the spade hook. Let's play the nine in the time being. That goes 10, that's not great. He does that, that, probably has that. So let's go ahead and duck this. We can go ahead and cash one big spade. We'll play a heart to the bullet. Now get to working on our diamond suit. Okay, good. We'll develop our diamond suit. We now have an entry back to the hand. Seven of hearts is now good. He cashes the king of clubs, and we have two clubs, two diamonds, a spade, and a heart for six of the remaining five tricks. seven. We have 17 balanced. That is easy. We open a no trump. Part of it's four hearts, which is a Texas transfer to spades. We accept the transfer and await the dummy. We have four club tricks. Pitch a heart on a big club and then work out what happens in diamonds. 
Do we need to overtake the Jack of Clubs? We do. So we pitch that on that, and then we take heart for Nessus. Okay, so the, really the only entry to the dummy to make sure that we don't lose a heart is overtaking the Jack of Clubs with the Ace of Clubs. Is that the right thing to do? What if instead, yeah, I think that's the right thing to do. Pitch the jack of hearts. We're missing three trumps, so the finesse is correct. In the trump suit, that's too bad. We still got eight X left. Turns one of them now. Do that. And we are going to go ahead and rough a heart here. Pull the last trump. Um, let's see, how many clubs did they start with? Eight, and they've played uh, six of them, just in case they've mispitched here. They have not. Okay, so we're just going to come to our hand. a diamond and we're going to actually duck the first round just in case West had a singleton ace. We can still lead them from our hands. One time we've got at least two diamond losers no matter what. Okay, so the jack. We learned the ace of hearts and the king of spades. And nothing there. He's still got room for ace, jack, and diamonds. We really want to play him for underleading the jack, or underleading the ace, or for leading the jack from that. Probably doesn't matter here. I hope that West had the queen of diamonds. It, does, it doesn't matter at all. Okay, down one. Diamond on our right, we have 14 kind of balanced. And I'm going to go ahead and overcall one no with this because I do have a five card suit and the king queen rate to be working behind the diamond opener. So there's six in the dummy, there's 14 in hand. This means that left hand opponent has to have at least six and probably not much more than that because he would have doubled one no trump if he thought he could beat it. So it looks like queen jack of clubs and maybe about three more points on the outside. So like maybe one of the big hearts or one of the big spades. So I think the first thing we are going to do is duck around because we're not sure what to do yet. Then he switches to the king of spades. That's kind of interesting. Go up ace. Later on, we can work out whether we want to finesse the queen or the ten. Uh, I tell you, one thing I want to do for sure is play diamonds. You're still missing ace, jack, x. Let's cash a big club and see if that does anything for us. Nothing interesting. And I think I'm going to play spade to the nine now. give us a chance to go wrong. All right, so at this point, East has all the outstanding high card points. East has Ace, King of Hearts, and the Ace of Diamonds, and probably the Jack of Diamonds. If he only had two clubs, you could still have potentially just Ace, Jack of Diamonds left alone. So we are going to do that. And we are going to do this and throw him in. Plays the ace of diamonds, which means he has jack x left. We unblock the nine. And 
unfortunately West remembers to keep the club. <laughs> and we score plus 90 instead of 120. Plus score should be pretty decent there, though, I think. Uh, 8, 9, 16, 19. Please don't get the impression that I overcall one no Trump light, though. Um, that can get you in some big danger. There I had a five card suit and it was well placed. And it's this weirdo conditions where you know that no one at the table has a bigger hand than you do. So those are all the, some would call them excuses. We have 19 balance. We're gonna open a club and rebid two no. Now we don't have to do that. We can rebid one no. And this actually shows 18 to 19 when partner passed in this situation. We don't need to jump to two no now. Uh, if we had like 11 to 14 balanced, we wouldn't need to bid here. Therefore, when we bid one no trump the balance in seat, uh, it shows 18 to 19. Okay, we, we would pass if we had 11 to 14. We would have already opened one no if we had 15 to 17. Therefore, when we bid one no trump in this auction, we've got 18 to 19. Okay, and there's no need to uh, jeopardize like getting, getting a level higher in the bidding, particularly when dummy is, is going to be broke a lot of the time, right? Uh, we have four points in the dummy this time. And that's completely predictable. Go ahead and win this. And we are looking for ways to get out of our own way. Um, and since we just don't have entries to finesse the spades, but so many times, uh, we're just going to power out the spades from the top. Pitch to heart. Huh? You ever called it diamond, right? Right. We had a dry spade. Interesting, interesting. We'll play low. This will guarantee a trick in the diamond suit. Do we need the entry for anything? Not really. Should be. And East doesn't have an entry. So we can go ahead and play the spades. He pitched a heart on the second spade, didn't he? Okay, so he has three diamonds to the bullet left. And four, five cards in the round suits, including the ace of hearts. Okay. Play a heart up right now. You can cash his diamonds and we'll have the rest. And we can actually get cute here to pitch the king of hearts and claim. Plus 90 again. Plus 90 is usually a pretty pretty good score. A12, 14, 15. And we have short clubs with support for all the other suits. So we have a takeout double with a little extra here. Go ahead and raise partner. And we play two hearts. So it looks like we have either four or five hearts. We have two diamonds. We have however many spades. The spade hook is probably working, so we probably have three spade tricks. Um, and we can rough a club in the shorthand. So only obvious losers here are uh, the ace of diamonds and the ace of clubs. This diamond's probably getting rough, though. I imagine the diamonds were five ones since he overcalled a diamond. So we lose that rough. I'm still taking this finesse. It loses. And they don't rough it, which means that West has queen third left to go with his five diamonds and his two spades and his three clubs. Is that right? Three hearts, five diamonds, three, two spades, three clubs. Two, five, three. Yep. Uh, there is nothing we can do about this, right? Put these king cards. Put the jack diamonds catch this one yeah, yeah. this is not going to 
good. He's just got, oh, he didn't rough. Oh, that, did, that doesn't matter one bit, right? We're just pitching a winner, right? Because we can rough that club in the dummy. Still comes to Queen of Hearts. And we get one ten on the board 11. Dealer 8, 12, 13, 15 to 17, balanced. We open a no trump. Partner transfers us. No reason to do anything fancy. Partner bits three diamonds, which should be forcing with diamonds. We did three hearts, he bits four hearts. Easy auction. Yeah, partner's new suits, the three level here. Natural and forcing. So he has hearts, he has diamonds, he has a game forcing hand. All right, and our tricks. We have four diamond tricks. We have two club tricks. We have a spade trick. We have however many hearts we come to. We have a surplus of tricks. Let's think about this from a loser perspective. Uh, we are off the ace of spades, off the ace of diamonds, off the ace of hearts. And we need to try and play this trump suit for uh, just one loser. And we have queen empty opposite king empty. In the first tournament we played today, we talked about that suit. And the idea is you're going to pick out somebody to uh, project them to hold ace doubleton. You're going to lead through it once and then duck on the way back. So we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a second once we figure out who to play for ace to heart. Okay, so east has the ace of diamonds. West has the ace of spades. This is not helping us. A diamond here. All right. So it looks like north might be, or excuse me, west might be getting a diamond rough. That's the case, even if East has ace and a heart, doesn't really do us any good. So we're gonna play West to have ace and a heart here. And the idea is we lead through the ace and a heart once and then duck on the way back. Okay, so we're gonna lead a heart to the queen. First part worked. And the second part is we play low from both hands. <laughs> that really didn't work. Wow, seems like we've had some abysmal Trump splits here today. And play a heart to the nine. Play a heart. Actually, I don't remember if the eight hearts is good or not. Okay, we do have the rest of the tricks though. Cool. And board 12. And like nothing to do about that. Okay, rebittable spades. 14 plus points. Force into three diamonds. Uh, I don't think there's any reason to do anything here. They apparently have good hands. Three spades. Oh, is there any way in the world they are making this? Do we have anything to protect? Probably not. Therefore, I think we're just gonna pass this and we're gonna try and get out of our own way. The reasons I'm not doubling there, even though I think that three spades is probably going down, um, I'm a little bit worried that maybe they can make four diamonds. And I also don't think that we have anything to protect. Like I don't think we have a plus score in the deal. So if you know that you've got them beaten, don't double them if there's a chance they might run to something else. It's kind of the thinking there. Anyway, back to the first trick. Went five, jack, queen, king. And we had 13 points. East probably has about 13 also. And there were seven in the dummy, which leaves partner with at least seven. And we saw two of them at trick one. So partner's got at least five high card points left. Do I want to play? Yeah. Seven, nine, two, three. I think we just keep on playing clubs here. Nice partner. Uh, 
played this and he has a high honor, can we still promote it? Yes. Okay, so Declare had six spades and at least three clubs. Um, he hasn't gone after diamonds, which is a little bit weird. My partner showed up with the ace of clubs. So East had king of clubs, king of diamonds, king jack of hearts is 10, king jack of spades is 14. Partner still has a jack somewhere, but probably not the king of diamonds. I guess we've just got to get to our heart tricks now. I guess the robot had the king of diamonds singleton the whole time. He had no diamonds. Just pitched the 13th club. And he's got me outspotted here at trick 13, but we do beat it three. It turns out they had nowhere to run, but I walked you through my thought process on that. We'll have to see what 150 ends up being. Okay, so we're going to give it a couple of seconds here to see if we get a provisional score. We'll look at that board 12 in particular to see how it scores so far. All right, so 62 in this round, which gives us a little more cushion. I think we've gone 56, 58, 62 so far. So we're um, one, three, four, seven, 11. We're like 59% through the first three sessions, uh, which means we're well on our way to qualifying in 10 uh, qualifying tournaments which is good. It means I'll have to spend $30 on this instead of 33 or 36 or 39. Uh, you can see that that last board is pretty good. Plus 150, 69%. There, there's nothing that we can make our way. So it's true that we could have collected a penalty, but we had no plus score coming our way. And those are the two things you want to ask yourself. First of all, is it possible they could run when you have a contract beaten and you're considering doubling? Ask yourself these two questions. Is there possibly a different contract they could run to that's making? That's that's embarrassing if you do that. And second of all, do I need to get a better plus score or is a plus score already going to be a good score? Okay, so that's going to wrap up qualifier number three. I'm going to upload this to YouTube. Go play some, um, what's the name of the game? Slay the Spire is the name of the game I'm playing on the Nintendo Switch. So we'll upload this, play a game in Nintendo, and then come back to Bridge. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this one.